If you thought the dragon and tiger hammer that was in the last box was cool, this some of the stuff that's in this one is even cooler. Uh, so let's get into get into it and open it up. All right. Ooh. Okay. First things first. I got me a whole stack of leather punches. This is old stock that was came from a shop, and they're brand new. Never been sharpened. Still got the grease on them. What have we got here? Oh, I know what these are. These are a bunch of leather knives. Yeah, how cool is that? And I've got uh, a couple of them. What's next? Hmm. I have um, no idea. Oh, yes, I do. I know what these are. I know what these are. Now, I, I gather most people who watch this channel are interested in Japanese tools. Uh, but there's other things that the Japanese do really well. Uh, for example, fabric scissors. Oh, look at that. That gorgeous. That's a, really, that's a lovely snip. That is. That's chunky. None of these little, you know, sheet metal kind of clippy, tinny things. That is. That's. They're forged. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, this is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now, but if you don't know, I have a prospecting channel. Because I live in Bendigo. Bendigo is one of the richest gold fields in, well, the world, if not, well, certainly in Australia, if not the world. And there's still a lot of gold here. And in fact, I actually went out and found some gold this morning. I was getting all set up to do the recording of the unboxing, and I realized that I'd left my lapel mic where I'd been recording the video from my prospecting channel yesterday. So I went back there. Fortunately found it. I thought, well, since I was there, I might as well look for some more gold. And I found some, some very nice little little nuggets. But they're encased in really, really hard rock. And to deal with that really, really hard rock, ah, I need some serious hammers. And check this out. This is a five kilo hammer. Um. Da, da, da. What else we got here? We've got chisels that have just been wrapped in plastic and dropped in there, which is not cool. We've got some, they're pretty clean. Someone's cleaned them up for sale. See, they've been polished with a buffing wheel. Whoa! What the? Would you look at that? Look at this gouge. Blacksmith made, you can see the forge weld in there. Quite old, very old even. That's a nice one. And it's got a carved handle, not a turned handle. But now we're getting into the really cool stuff. And um, it's a bit, and I'm not sure what to show you first. Well, one thing I'll show you first is the branding irons. I <laughs> I reckon I could do a whole video just on the branding line. I've got 40 of them, all different Japanese symbols. Uh, some of them, though, are, are, are pictures. Like I think, I think that's a lotus. Wow, there's a relief. There's not. That's a um, a negative one. So you get a round burn, but then it's got the pattern that's relieved. Lots of Japanese characters, which I'll have to get. That looks like some sort of little flower as well. That one looks pretty manky. That looks like it's got so over, overheated or left in the board or something. Little pinwheel design. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, might not use that one. That's so cool. But now, the last two items. Two hammers. It's 
stay tuned for, I guess, the follow-on videos from here. The branding video um, will come at some point. I might do a video on making handles for these little jobs, uh, for the leather knives. Uh, and also, <laughs> if you have any interest in prospecting at all, you can pop over to Chestnut Next Tools, uh, not Chestnut Next Tools, man, that's this channel. You can pop over to Mad Siders Prospecting and see what I'm going to do with this baby. Because <laughs> that's a chunky hammer. Uh, and it is, it's a stone hammer. It's specifically for stone rocks. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later.